My father saved all this money. He doesn't know how much longer he's gonna live and he wants to be able to leave me and my sisters and our children, his grandchildren, something before, you know, passing. And so he saved about almost $70,000. He had Miss Eleanor holding the money while he was gone overnight to Vegas to pick up his RV. When Miss Eleanor and Mercedes got home, they played as if the money was missing. You know, I, I just think it was all a front. The fake crying and all that, you know, it just didn't seem like they were genuine about the money just up and missing or whatever. There are four prime suspects. Sensei, who is my cousin, but he's the boyfriend to Mercedes. Azende, he's my cousin. And then Mercedes, which is Miss Eleanor's granddaughter, and then Miss Eleanor. One of them had to have stolen my father's money. The only person who knew about this money was Miss Eleanor, and Miss Eleanor told her granddaughter exactly where it was. When uh, Apache comes to you and says, hey, will you hold on to $70,000 for me? What was your reaction to that? When he called me, he, he told me he wanted to let me hold, hold something for him because he trusted me. And what's and your relationship to Apache? I, I've been close to the family. We've been almost 20 years. Okay. And so he told me it was 60000 and And uh, I just took it. I didn't even look at it. I just took it. But did you, did you find it odd that somebody would entrust you? Not that you're dishonest, but that, like, listen, if somebody came to me and said, hey, Steve, will you hold on to $70,000 cash? My first response would be, wouldn't it be better off in a bank? Yes. And where did you put the money? I went in my room and threw it in the closet. And did you take the money? No. Do no. you know who took the money? No, I don't. So when the pantry calls you and says, hey, I need my money, was he concerned? that somebody had taken the money or he just said, I want the money? He didn't tell me he wanted the money. I knew he was, Mercedes had told me he, that he was there, he was back. And I told her to go to the house and look in the closet. I said he probably wants his, his money and, and I told her where it was and I told her to go get it and give it to him. And, and how did you know that the money wasn't there? She called me. On your she, phone? Yes. And were you charging it? Or? She called me on my phone. Okay. And she says, hey, the money's not there. What's she said, your the reaction? money is not there. And I said, I said, yes, it is. I said, yes, it is. I said, you're not looking in the right place. And she says, Mama, I didn't tore this closet up. It's not there. And I said, come get me, because I didn't have a car, you know, because I didn't right. have my keys. And so Mercedes came and got me, and I went to the house. And Apache, he didn't say anything. He just looked, and I went in the room, and I was all, we were all over the closet. That's what we were doing. So and when you come out and say to Apache that the money's not there, how did he react? He fell on his floor and cried, and I held him and cried, too. Did you tell anyone that you had that money in there? Yes, I did. Who did you tell? I told we're, we're like, really close. Why would you tell anybody that you had that much money in there? Well, house? a lot more people than that. Yeah, well, she I, was, a I, lot more people I was, I was venting. I was venting because I was upset because I had to keep calling for rides. And so that's when I asked Patchy to loan me the money so that I could get the, my, a, a new key made. Oh, you asked for $200? Yeah. So and I could what get did the, he say? He said no. So you were mad at him? Hi, Steve. Hi, Donna. I'm not playing with this bitch or this woman right here. Yeah. I want my daddy yeah. Yeah. I want my daddy yeah. money. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ma'am, 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 Who stole the money? No, I do not. Okay. Now, uh, there's another guy here, and his name's what? Zende? Zende. Let's bring him out. Mm hmm. Wow. Man. Where's his boo? Where's his boo and happy oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, Zende, I, and I don't know why they're booing you, because. Basically, everybody's, been, and I believe me, because you even said, really, he had no access. Of course not. Yeah, he didn't have no whereabouts. He didn't know it was any money, so he doesn't Did know there was money. Did you know the money was in the house? No, sir. Why do you, how, are, how are you getting involved with this? How are you no, being accused? I guess I went the day it came on missing. You were at the house the day it was missing. 
Did you know any idea that there was that much money in the house? No. I think your father made a huge mistake trusting anybody with that kind of money. Okay? Um, and then number two, you made a huge mistake by letting your emotions over $180 get the best of you and telling all these people that the money was in your house. That is just an invitation to bum rush that money. Okay? But then, Whoever did take this money, I'd say, what a dirtbag, right? The one guy that I really believe didn't have anything to do with this taking the money is Azende. And Azende came here and took a lie detector test. And we asked him, did you take any of Apache's missing money? He answered no. Do you know for sure who took any of Apache's missing money? He answered no. The results of, this, of his lie detector test is that Azende Hold the truth. Mm -hmm. All right, Eleanor, you took one. We asked you, did you take any of Apache's missing money? You answered no. Do you know for sure who took any of Apache's missing money? You answered no. The results came back the same to each question, and it came back that Eleanor told the truth. <laughs> Sensei, took a lie detector test. We already know it's the truth. Sensei, we asked you, do you know for sure who took any of Apache's missing money? You answered no. Did you take any of Apache's missing money? You answered no. Do you know where any of Apache's missing money is now? You answered no. The results came back the same to each question, and it came back that Sensei told the truth. <laughs> Mercedes came here and took a lie detector test, and we asked her, did you take any of Apache's missing money? She answered no. Do you know for sure who took any of Apache's missing money? She answered no. And the results from Mercedes' lie detector test is that she told the truth. So, nobody ever say nothing to me ever get in line. No, Let's bring out Dan. Okay, now it's Dan's turn. Uh, really uh, a story that, I, I mean, bad decisions all the way around. Keeping that kind of money in a, in a, in a bag, in a room, uh, and then telling people, hey, I got $70,000 in my closet, right? Like, you might as well not even lock the doors to your house because people are coming in, right? So, Steve, you know, as a police officer, you must have investigated thousands of thefts as a uh, polygraph examiner and private investigator, likewise, thousands of thefts. So we always start with the inner circle, the people that had access and that were the closest to the subject and to the money. We've been able to clear this suspect pool with the polygraph. So now the next step would be to expand to some of the peripheral players, because there's a lot of people that apparently come in and out of this house. So we haven't tested all of the suspects yet. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. Um, <laughs> you know, and you know, the sad thing is, uh, and I'll, I, I want to make this yeah, offer. If you have anybody that you suspect that might be involved, we, and if they're willing to come, we'd be more than willing to have you back and give lie detector tests to anybody you suspect. The unfortunate thing with this story is, I'm guessing that money's gone forever. Definitely. I don't, you know what I mean? Uh, the only justice would be somebody getting arrested, and even that doesn't help your dad. So it's a really unfortunate story. I'm sorry that we couldn't get a more definite answer for you today. That's fine. Like I said, the offer is open. If, if somebody you suspect and is willing to come on the show, we would love to have you back. And, We'd love to find out for your father and for, for your family mm -hmm. who took this money. Mm -hmm. And this is the moral of the story. Keep your money in the bank. Yeah. And if you do hold money for somebody, don't tell anybody.